stem cell research is about to take a giant step forward with the world's first human study using embryonic stem cells. So far everything's been kept in the culture dish or in animal models, so now we're finally taking it to patients who actually have clinical problems. A U.S. biotech firm has gotten FDA approval to test a treatment for spinal cord injuries. Eight to ten patients who have lost the use of their legs will be injected with stem cells from embryos. The cells can theoretically develop into any cell of the body, and scientists have long hoped to harness them to treat spinal cord injuries as well as other illnesses. Diabetes, hepatitis, heart disease, um, strokes, um, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, vascular disease, kidney disease, you name it. The FDA's approval marks a new chapter in the history of embryonic stem cell research in the U.S which has been controversial because embryos must be destroyed to obtain the cells. President Barack Obama is a supporter of stem cell research, but the new administration had nothing to do with the FDA's approval of this new study. Researchers will be looking for signs of improvement in the patients, but they say the main focus is to see if the procedure is safe. The major concern people have is that um, if you take an embryonic stem cell and transplant it into an animal, they tend to make tumors, and often malignant tumors. Scientists say they'll have some results in six months, but even if it's successful, embryonic stem cell treatment is still years away. Terry Okita, CBS News, Los Angeles.